If you are one of the many academics on Twitter, then chances are you love threads. You probably produce them, you certainly follow them, and you also know if you do that, that they're kind of hard to make. When you open Twitter in your browser, and certainly if you try on your, on your phone, just the whole editing experience is really tricky. It's hard to move things around. It's hard to just, it's just hard to do it. So I'd like to share with you a very simple technique that I have. I'm gonna give you the download link for the document I have in mind of how I like to create my Twitter threads offline first and then transfer them into Twitter and make the process so much faster. So what follows is a download link where you can get hold of the Google Excel sheet that I use to pre-compose my Twitter threads. And let me just walk through some of the features for it and then I think the rest of it is pretty self-evident. So the first thing that's really frustrating when you're doing threads um, just on the web browser is of course there is the character count and it's you know, hard to know when you're getting close to that, when you need to move to the next one. And then of course, if you add links or add these like thread or slash two slash three and so forth and so on, it can be a little bit nerve wracking to try to navigate all of that in the browser for fear that maybe if you accidentally refresh the browser or something happens, that all of this work you've put into this thread is going to disappear. And so what I like to do is in the Excel doc, I have one of the columns, which has a very simple Google equation which calculates the number of characters including spaces in another column in the Google Excel doc so that I can just type at will type to my heart's content and then see in the other uh, the other cell how many characters I have there and you can also put conditional formatting such as if you exceed the maximum number of characters that Twitter allows in one of your pieces of your thread, it'll turn red and therefore you know, okay, I've got to move to the next row in order to keep composing. The other thing that's really annoying about doing it directly in the web browser with Twitter is that sometimes you want to edit your thread. Sometimes that's something that is in the bottom needs to be moved up or vice versa. And when you do this, then suddenly you need to renumber your thread. A lot of us like to say blah, 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 thread in caps, and then the next one is blah, 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 slash two, almost like page two or tweet two. But what happens if you wanna change the position of the fifth part of your thread and the fourth part of your thread, and then suddenly you have to go back through all of the other threads that were affected and change the numbers and change the numbers. Well, one thing that I like to do with my Google Excel doc is I have another column that is simply the word thread and then slash two, three, four, five, six, ten, and down, just by itself as, as a sequence. And then I basically dedicate another column of my Google Excel doc to take the text of my thread and then the number that I just listed, put them together, and then create a new body of text. That way, if I replace the order of any of the text blocks here and just keep those numbers the same, it's going to produce a beautiful crisp text in one of the columns that will have the correct pagination, if you will, for my thread. A third thing that I like about this method is that you can keep your links, any links that you wanna post in one piece of your thread and the text of your thread kind of separate until the last minute. So let's say you are working through each row of this Excel doc, and remember each row is one tweet inside that thread, you can have a completely separate column for links. So let's say you're reading back over your thread and you're like, oh, I reference so-and-so's work here, or I reference a book here, or a conference here, whatever it might be. I should probably make sure that I include a link to that uh, thing. And you can just add it to the link column and just keep track of them separately. And then at the end, when you're like, okay, this is ready to build, then again, you have that one column of the Excel doc whose only job is to take the text column, the pagination column, and the link column, and glue them all together and give you the finished tweet. So the fourth and final thing I love about this is that it gives you, at the end of the process, a very crisp, clean document which you can then open up your Twitter web browser, go to Twitter, and one by one, you just have to copy and paste these things into each piece of the thread. And that takes a little bit of time, but nowhere near how much it takes to compose it from scratch in the web browser. But also, 
it allows you to simply click and drag all of those, you know, all of those finished tweets, copy and paste all of them and dump them into another format. Let's say that you want to dump them into a Facebook post or a Reddit post or somewhere else, or maybe a post on Medium or something like that. If you were to make a thread in Twitter, it's actually extremely hard, at least in my experience, to get a clean copy and paste of the entire thread um, that you can then reuse. There are these like Twitter unroll bots and so forth, but even those kind of give these weird artifacts. And then you have to spend time cleaning it up and so forth. Well, with a this kind of Google Excel doc pre-thread producing system, you don't have to do that. You can just say, okay, I'm gonna post this on Facebook. I don't need the pagination anymore, so I'm just gonna leave that part out. I do need the links, but I want the links all at the bottom. And so what you can do is copy and paste the tweets, plug it into, I don't know, well, directly into the Facebook post, and then copy and paste your links, post it at the bottom of your Facebook post, and voila, you're not wasting time cleaning anything up. And the same thing is true if you're gonna post on medium.com or LinkedIn or somewhere else, Reddit somewhere else, it's ready to go. So uh, just something that, you know, I jimmy together, which has worked for me really well, and I'd like to share it with you. If you get a chance to use it and you think of any improvements or if you have any examples what you used it to produce, by all means, please do leave a comment in the comment section. If you got something out of this video, give it a like, and it would mean a lot to me if you would consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.